So I saw a post on the Anet A8 forum on Facebook about a user not being able to get his enclosure up to a, a usable temperature to print ABS. And I came up with a theoretical kind of design, just testing it out to see if it would work. I have a Rex C100 PID controller for controlling temperature. I have a 40 amp SSR or solid state relay hooked up to a 110 volts uh, outlet, 1500 watt heat gun hooked up to the outlet. And I want to see if you could theoretically heat a 3D printer enclosure with like a heat gun or hair dryer. But I have a hole cut in the side of this and I have my thermal couple fed in the side there. But this is just a test, a theory that you could use like a hair dryer, a little travel hair dryer, I don't know, maybe a 700 watt or 800 watt hair dryer for uh, an enclosure heater. But it is about 18 degrees Celsius in this room and I have my temperature set to 70 degrees Celsius. When it gets close to the end temperature, it'll start modulating the amount of electricity going to the uh, heater. It'll completely shut off and uh, the temperature may rise a few degrees more and start dropping again. But this would be to heat your enclosure up very quickly instead of relying on your heat bed or your extruder. And you see this starting to pulse again because the temperature is dropping. As it tries to compensate for the heat drop, or the temperature drop, the motor will stay on longer and longer and the, the uh, heating coils will stay on longer and longer. Then it reaches the target temperature and then it shuts down the fan. It just pulses it a few times. This is just a cardboard box to test my theory out that uh, a PID controller and a uh, heat gun could be used to heat your 3D printer enclosure up to whatever temperature you need it to be. Because reading on a lot of forums, they said 70 degrees Celsius is the perfect temperature to print. ABS, but I was going to make an enclosure out of high temperature insulation that I used in my solar panel video. And I think along with the heat bed and the extruder, this thing would probably rarely turn on after it reaches the operating temperature. But it keeps this uh, a fairly constant temperature. And cardboard's not the best insulator, but yet it's still uh, you know, 150 some degrees inside that box. Crank it up to 80 degrees Celsius. And set your enclosure to pretty much any temperature you wanted and not have to wait 20 minutes for your enclosure to reach the operating temperature. And there's 80 degrees Celsius, I mean, Checking the solid state relay and it's 
barely even warm because most people have a, a heat gun or a hair dryer you know, or you can go to the thrift store and find a cheap hair dryer or a heat gun and uh, this cost like seven and a half dollars off of eBay and the SSR came with it quite easy to set up a uh, enclosure that is uh, heated up to whatever temp you want very quickly